Today's episode, I'm really excited about the black owned brand that I'm going to be talking about today in episode four. And of course, I'm going to be sipping. So please stay tuned. You're watching Wine Up with Alison Mache. <laughs> Allison, we're back. It's episode four. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and being here with me. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about today because I am focusing on a black owned wine brand from South Africa. Yes, South Africa again. If you guys haven't noticed, there's a theme with my videos and I've decided to have season one focusing on wines from South Africa. As a black woman who enjoys drinking wine, I really wanted to find a black owned brand from South Africa to feature on the channel. And luckily I was able to do just that. I came across the brand Carmen Stevens on NakedWines.com that is owned by a black woman who has been in the game since the 90s, who started her wine brand in 2011, and whose 2019 red blend I will be reviewing today in this video. Now, a couple of things about the red blend. One, it has a variety of three grapes, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. It has been aged for 10 months and you're able to store the wine for five to seven years. So let's just get into my thoughts on this wonderful wine. Oh, this wine. It's a different experience every time I have a sip. Every glass that I've had has been so different and in an amazing way, okay? Like I am having an experience <laughs> with this wine. And so I can just only imagine what it would taste like if you kept it for even at least a year. This is a symphony in a bottle. A symphony. Your very own concert in your mouth every time you drink this ice. Big man thing. Oh my gosh. It is rich. It is complex. It is a very complex wine, but in a good way. Like seriously, if you're somebody like, I want to really try my hand at something that's really rich and flavorful and keeps me guessing this is it because seriously I can't be like yo boom bang bang this is what it is um, I will say that it is fruity when I say fruity I mean more like very very deep rich berry flavors um, it's also very tanniny and when I say tanniny I mean it has a lot of tannins tannins um, it's pretty much what makes a red wine it contributes to the uh, bitterness and like stringency of it and so tannins also help with the aging process as well um, so it does have it, it, it's tanniny and it's not a bad thing so it's not bitter but after you swallow that's that's what happens in my mouth like oh, and then I go back for more I recommend this like I'm really 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 happy about this wine I do not want to finish the bottle because it's so good. But I'm probably going to. Big Man Ting is a black woman in a bottle. Like every black woman is not the same, but we talk about beauty, we talk about richness, we talk about complexity, we talk about you will get a different experience every time you experience or meet up with said woman. This red blend. That's it, all right? So if you love black women, like me, I would think so because you're watching me. Please support Carmen Stevens, go on Naked Wines, sign up, and order her stuff because she's real bomb. Like, come on, bro. Ooh. Yeah, no, I'm still recording. All right. No, I'm done because I'm going to go enjoy this. Uh, thank you for watching again. Uh, if you have not already, please subscribe. Tell family, friends, random person on the street who is not wearing their mask, let them wear a mask, but also tell them, hey, check out this person's uh, series on wine. Whatever. Yeah, that's it for me because I'm, I'm going to go and
little bad boy here. So as always, you already know, happy sipping.